what's up? What's up? What's up, party people? Um, this is uh, day day two uh, of the 75 Hard Challenge, and um, I'm putting these videos up to kind of catalog uh, this journey, the process. Uh, you know, I'm, I've been in fitness for a long time, like I stated before, but the biggest thing I want to get from doing the challenge, doing the doing the uh, videos, doing the uh, pictures, but more so like the focus, the mental focus that I get from uh, the challenge is what I'm seeking uh, to be focused at a greater capacity on, uh, you know, what it is specifically that, or where I need to put my efforts, because uh, I've recently found myself uh, spreading my efforts out over several projects, several things. So time to kind of somewhat reel it back in so that I can, you know, refocus or focus in on, you know, the, the one thing, you know, <laughs> instead of focusing on the many, the many things um, to try to reach my own goal uh, instead of helping others to achieve their goals in their lives. So the 75 hard, day number two, um, which you'll realize that life is full of false starts. Uh, false starts meaning like we fail and we learn and we you try it again, you fail, you learn, you try it again. Um, because like this is, I started day one like several days ago um, and then I had to start again because I realized I ate something that I wasn't supposed to eat that was not on the uh, nutritional protocol. This, um, I want to say eating plan. Uh, you know, and, and that is basically part of the challenge is no matter how far you're in, you know, you start back over from day one. <laughs> and that's gotta be the, um, you, you gotta feel the pain of that somewhat so that you can refocus your brain on, okay, I don't wanna feel the pain of getting the day like day like number 70 and, and, uh, and, and, and falling or succumbing to, uh, you know, not following through on something and still having to start all over again. So that's the good part of the, about this challenge. Uh, the biggest thing is it's like, you know, your integrity with yourself. You know, the, building up your, the integrity. Uh, confidence comes from your integrity with yourself. You know, saying that you're gonna do something and you're actually doing it. And that's, I guess that for me, that's part of the thing that's been lacking is I've been say, saying that I want, I, you know, have this on my calendar to finish. I got that on my calendar. So spreading myself out over a lot of different things, but not really doing anything. Um, but but that just comes from trying to busy myself. But is busy effective? You know what I'm saying? So um, hopefully these videos help you. I, I want to catalog my journey so I can look back and and uh, hopefully learn something. Um, hopefully learn something from the process for myself. And uh, I feel like, you know, as I receive these little golden nuggets, like the nugget that I'm receiving from today's video and I wanted to share mainly was false starts. Like just because you don't do well at something the first time or the second time or the 50th time uh, doesn't mean that you can't you know, pick up and start all over again. If it's if that's where your passion lies, if that's where your heart is, if that's where you feel like you're a greater calling it's supposed to be pick it up and move on in that same place but um, you know it provides me hope that you know the, the quick the best the be the quickest path or I don't want to say the quickest the roads to roads to success are paved with failure that's <laughs> I know you guys have probably heard uh, heard that saying a lot but the road to success is paved with failure and uh, learning to embrace failure from the standpoint of what am I to learn from this? Like there's always a golden nugget. There's always gold in different situations. So um, yeah, I mean, that's it. Day, day number two, 75 hard. Uh, shoot me any questions. Like I've been in fitness for 25 years. I think the biggest uh, challenge for me is, I, I you know, I, I love pushing myself from a fitness perspective and getting in shape and, and uh, you know, not having necessarily a competition to shoot for. I, I've just been kind of maintaining. Um, so it's always good to have a focus or uh, have a, a guideline or a focus or whatever. So um, 
yeah, keep following, you know, share, like, uh, this has definitely been a, a, a very, this, this journey so far, thus far, for me, it's not necessarily the fitness or nutrition or um, just the mental health aspect of it, uh, just me regaining focus and realigning my integrity with myself to uh, continue to build up my the confidence that's that's in me. You know, the confidence is, is already there, but it's more like the integrity that you have with yourself. Are you going to let yourself down? If you're going to let yourself down, that's where the doubt and the fear comes in because you're not confident in the fact that you're going to do what you say you're going to do, you know? So uh, anyway, that's the major takeaway. Confidence comes from you saying you're going to do something and you actually doing it. And uh, like I said, I've fallen short of that and I got to be responsible for what I have done, you know, or what I'm not doing. <laughs> so that was it. Fit in it. Um, I love anybody that's watching. You know, if you have any questions, I want to help. I want to be a hope and a blessing and a light to the world, uh, starting with you, starting with whoever's viewing. So DM me, text me, message me. Uh, if you're close to me, you got my cell phone number. If not, then email me at fitinmit at gmail.com. And I might even give you the cell phone number. All right, peace.